Got vision and destiny. At elemental, that's chemistry. All those heroes, that's infinity. It's end game. That's Yugi peoples. Welcome to the commentary. Alright, so this one right here is my round two match. Absolutely crazy match. I ended up playing against Flunderies. And yeah, as you can see, I won the dice roll, but it didn't matter too much because I get shifted in the standby phase. And you know with heroes, when you get shifted, you know, it's basically like we lose access to so many cards. So now I'm just trying to figure out what I can do to keep myself from absolutely just losing this first game against Flunder. So, of course, we're going to start off with a hero lives here. Good thing I opened up with the Ferris, and it's just like now I have to see what I want to sacrifice in order to, to you know, accomplish my mission because all this stuff is about to get uh, destroyed and thrown away and stuff. But luckily, we also have the Poly in hand, which is now one of the good things about playing two of them is that sometimes you'll open one of them up without exactly having to go get that Vion. So we have the second Stratos hit the board here. So that we can go ahead and use that graceful charity that we got along with this vanilla Neos that I'm thinking about going to go grab right here. That way, um, you know, we can still get our favorite contact out there on the board. And so the thing, the liquid soldier will still get his effect because whether he's banished or sent to the graveyard, he'll be able to go ahead and get his effect. And like I said, pretty much now I'm just trying to decide what I want to sacrifice in order for this um, Ferris effect to go off. But I'm just going to go ahead and grab Denier. And I figure I'll just go ahead and grab it for follow-up because I'm about to pitch this valley here. And we're going to go ahead and link both of those guys off for Inferno Divisor. Use that effect to go grab my Vanilla Neos. And then we're going to poly the Vanilla Neos, the Liquid Soldier, to bring out our Infernal Rage. Chain Link 1, Graceful Charity, Chain Link 2, Infernal Rage. We're going to go grab our favorite contact and then pitch 2. And we're just hoping that, you know, favorite contact is enough to kind of win us the game. But we do end up drawing Plasma, which was really, really good. I was hoping to draw D Force, but you know, Plasma, I feel like it's just as good. We go ahead and sacrifice our Mali to Ferris, and we're going to go ahead and believe. I think I just go ahead and tribute off these three to go ahead and bring out my Plasma, and then we set the favorite contact. And of course, he goes straight into battle phase, and we get hit with evenly matched as well. So, yeah, I mean, like, whenever I play against this dude, I even told him before the tournament started that he, out before we started the match, that he always guy draws against me, and he did not disappoint. So, I get evenly matched here, but I want to go ahead and shuffle back some of my resources, so, because I like having, um, I don't even know why. Yeah, I probably shouldn't even have did that. I guess it just ended up being a way, so I just get my shiny Neos wingman banished for no reason even though the materials were already banished anyway so i guess it didn't really matter i guess i could have nah because then my dpe would have got banished because i can't activate his effect Nah, i mean there was kind of no point to doing it but good thing he's playing flunder and he goes ahead and banishes the um was it the crow to activate his quick play spell gains 500 life points activates the field spell as you can see his hand was just straight disgusting banishes the rabina summons the eagle in gets the rabina back and passes turn to me because fortunately he couldn't get to you know i think what he was looking for was to get the um the continuous spell that will allow him to tribute off my plasma so now shifter is over down comes the Vion, and yeah, y'all know what this means. With just the little Rabina and stuff inside of his hand, we're pretty much just going to kill him at this point. Vion, and then Shadow Miss, and then we're going to go ahead and poly those two, bring out our DPE. I'm going to be able to activate Plasma's effect to get the imp in. For that, we can go ahead and special summon out our Denier. Uses effect to throw, uh, what's his name? Mally back. We're going to go Cross Crusader. 
bring back the denier as well and then we're gonna banish the mally special summon mally link both of those guys off into our dread decimator to make sure we have enough damage on the board to be able to go ahead and finish him off proceed to the battle phase make sure everybody's pointing to dread decimator and yeah we go ahead and win that game even though we get shifter evenly we drew good enough to be able to deal with it and be able to win the game you know just plasma is enough to win against flunder if you can get them out there on the board through d shifter <laughs> yeah but yeah and then the evenly was kind of crazy too wasn't expecting him to have both of them but you know it is what it is we still ended up winning the game so now going into game two you know just thinking about cards like droll ash um was I playing Imperm? I think I was only playing like one Imperm, but you know, the cards like Lightning Storm, Feather Duster to get rid of the the fill spell, get rid of the trap card that he's going to have down there. Usually in this matchup, I still always leave like favorite contact off in there because if I can get to two elemental heroes, I can still get favorite contact and, you know, special out my Shiny Nails Wingman in hopes to to blow up a board and blow up some of his cards or something you know just gotta remember to special summon that boy in defense because you know that that what's his name is gonna be out there imping so yeah some of the cards i side out in this matchup um of course like sometimes i still do ash and stuff anyway the mass changes don't need it because like dark law does nothing to this deck I mean, sometimes you might get lucky and um, what's the card? You might banish something that he searched or banish something that he needed after he adds. But in general, for the most part, it's just not all that great going second into Flundery. So, yeah, actually opened up Imperm Ash and I feel pretty good about it. He summons out the Rabina and I'm just trying to decide if I want to go ahead and stop him where he's at. I'm going to Ash. He chains Call by the Grave. I chain Imperm. He changed the quick play spell card and shifter. So, yeah. Yep. He got the call by, got the shifter. There goes the map. His other card was um triple, what was it? Triple talents thrust. He also had the thrust. So he's going to be able to set the, um, what is the, the trap card, Harpy's Feather Storm. He had the Rabina, and yeah, he just starts going full flow card. If y'all count that, that's the five card perfect open hand. Rabina, called by Shifter, the, um, the quick play spell to dodge my Empire and Thrust to set the harpy's feather storm so yeah ended up getting five card <laughs> getting the five card special there and yeah still gonna try to see if he'll make any play mistakes and we'll start off our turn with a hero lives to bring out stratos and attack position epic fail i lost yeah there was nothing happening at that time besides he had harpy's feather storm anyway so it wouldn't matter whether i special summon an attack or defense his effect was not going out so yeah easy loss game two <laughs> so yeah that was pretty bad now going into game going into game three here um side deck just like a little bit differently i do believe i still left out the um the mass changes and stuff but i think like the main thing here is um to to get rid of the lightning storms and stuff and i think i also like sided out the d forces because he doesn't typically play cards that typically play cards that um that target and stuff but one of the things i do try to do is to get him in the rivalry lock with the with the dark angel so i do side in dark angel for this match for, because of the way my side deck and everything is built i go ahead and side it in and because i see that he's playing like evenly matched and stuff so i really want to try to get dark angel out onto his side of the board with rivalry and that way i can um that way, I don't have to worry about cards like evenly matched and stuff. So, yeah, uh, going into game three here. But the thing is, like, if I don't open up the rivalry, I don't typically go for it because he'll just be able to tribute tribute over it and stuff. So it doesn't really make too much of a difference. But we'll start off with Stratos. Stratos to grab Ferris. We're going to have to pitch the denier for our Ferris effect increase. He did not have shifter this game. And, yeah, we just hoping to maybe draw that rivalry and then be able to go get our um to be able to go get our dark angel and make things happen but if not we'll throw plasma out there on the board and hope that he does enough 
we go ahead and pitch the shadow mist with our Vion effect because at the end we're not gonna be you know special summoning wake special summoning shadow mist off of wake up to add mass change because it wouldn't really do anything at all. Like I said, like you know we all know the dark law is pretty useless in this matchup, but we're gonna go ahead and use Cross Crusaders effect. Go ahead and special summon out denier use that effect to go ahead and add our graceful charity and we'll link both of those guys off for um you know infernal rage go ahead and poly off both of those you know we're going pretty fast here no interrupts and you know he knows that we know what we're doing with his heroes and yeah we go ahead and get the favorite contact draw two we got the ash we go ahead and pitch the call by at this point because as long as he didn't shifter me, then the call by is pretty worthless. So now we go ahead and tribute the Infernal Rage, grab our Miracle Fusion. And yeah, so we got our favorite contact now. We also have Fusion Destiny, so we wasn't worried about having the Mally down there. But we also got Droll. So yeah, even though he... um. God handed us last turn. We're gonna get the God hand back on him, and I'm trying to decide how I want to get my um, how I want to get my DPE out on the board because I think the thing is that um, what is it? I don't, I don't know. I can't remember if I sided in, if I sided out my um, my honest neos. But I'm gonna go ahead and Rhoda grab the Dark Angel. And I can't remember why I did that. But we go ahead and link both of those guys off for the Wonder Driver that I'm trying to decide. Uh, yeah, we go ahead and Miracle Fusion before we activate the Fusion Destiny. Because, um, you know, after that comes out, I won't be able to do that. I won't be able to do that. Then we activate the Fusion Destiny. Anyway, we bring out the Wake Up because when he sets the back row and stuff, I want to be able to special summon my, what's his name? I want to be able to special summon my, um, my Stratos and destroy all his back row. So yeah, we end up sending both of the Mallies to special summon out by DPE because yeah, we did not, um, we did not leave the honest Neos in there. Then I'm going to try and dark angel him anyway. And I just go ahead and do it because I would much rather not, um, what was it? Get hit with evenly matched at this point. And since I have the ash and the draw, I figured it, you know, it'd be pretty safe. So we go ahead and give him the dark angel anyway in the end phase. I'll go ahead and pop DPE, pop Wonder Driver. That way he doesn't have an attack position card to get into. He goes ahead and summons the Rabina. And I'm going to decide. I'm trying to decide whether I want to ash or draw here. I'll go ahead and ash it. I would just rather him not get the, um, what's his name? Not just get the Eaglin in this, get the Eaglin period. And yeah, he's forced to just set the three back row. We're going to activate the favorite contact and we'll bring out the shiny Neos wingman pop two of the back row with shiny Neos. I uh, actually pop three up, be able to pop three cards because he has the Rabina out there, which is a water monster. And yeah, so we do actually end up winning that game. I think if you look at it, he did open up the, is it evenly matched? Yeah. Back there are the flow trap card he had one of them but yeah so he wasn't able to activate the pot of duality or anything so luckily we were able to win that game and even though i didn't get to the rivalry like i really wanted to you know dark angel does put in a little bit of work there so yeah crazy match though like <laughs> gave one the shifter evenly game two the perfect five card draw and then game three you know just luckily we drew good enough and he didn't draw shifter that time so we were able to pretty much go full combo and win the game so yeah appreciate everybody for staying a while to listen and i will catch y'all on the next visual my wingman he come through he level up he go cool. he's shining out and popping to over 9k that's a breakthrough be on top now here's a look at all